I wake up to sunny skies and I had other stuff to do now it's raining a little bit but I thought I'd come out and dig in here I was finding marbles pretty consistently at the end of the day there right in here is where I've been digging this is just a big mound of trash I'm gonna look right down in there is where I've been there's marbles even up in here in this area right here they're all through here um, there has to be a main concentration where I'm just going to get into hundreds of them, as many as there are, but i got to find it. Now I'll get back on my first find. I come down here at the bottom of my hole, I'm going to work that way. But there's another bubble pipe. It's got a cat face on it. I'm going to take it. The, the stem piece is missing, but I kind of like that. I found one of these before. Right there's the slip for the money. This is one of these bare banks. That stinks, that's break. The other one I have has spots in it. I can't remember who made it. I'm thinking it's not Roseville, it's something else. You can get back in my videos. See, there's a Pepsi, Royal Crown, there's just bottles, there's a Coke. There's just bottles everywhere in here. But I'll get back, I wanted to show you that. That's a heartbreaker. I would have liked to have had that. All right, here's what that peg would have been. I can't remember who makes this. I got, I'll got. i put the video up at the end of this video where I found this. But there's the slit for the money. And this one's perfect, though. Um, I can't think of it right now. Some of you will know. And it's in the last video. But I find, you can see, this is just another room in my house. Look at all this. This is all Doug stuff on video. Um, there's more military buttons in there. Tons of them. There's stuff all down here on this coffee table. These are all better bottles, milks, and then you come up here and there's all kinds of bottles. Look at all this stuff. There's just tons of, you know, there's just tons of stuff. But I wanted to show you this. That's what that pig would have looked like in this video. It might even had spots on it on the top. This one, I guess, has it on the top, mostly. But that's pretty cool. Wish that one would have been whole. Later. Yeah, there's another old doorknob. That's three of these this week. The one brown swirled one's the nicest, but that's cool for a flower bed. Later. There's marble back in here. You see it there? It's right here. Looks like a marble king. Oh, it's nice. It's beautiful red. It's Christmas colors too. It's almost Christmas. Let me get it wiped off and I'll show you. Well, that's a Marble King for sure, but that red sure is pretty on that green. I like these. It's real nice condition. So we got our first one of this trip. That's nice. That'll look great in a frame with that color. Now that looks like it could be a car right there and there's a marble in here. It is. It's a metal with where that marble gets right here. It's just a yellow cat eye. But this is a little die cast fire truck. That's pretty cool. It's all there, and look, it's got the original paint on it, and it's marked up in there. I'll show you a picture of it. It'll say what it is. Rock. Rockford, Illinois. Um, I don't, the manufacturer's there, but I'll have to, that's a heel off a woman's shoe, or a high heel. Here's another marble. That's why I'm finding them. Hopefully I can get into a whole pocket of these. I love these metal cars. That'll be right in one of my fine sh case. Look, the original paint. Man. Later. Getting into a lot of toys. I've never seen this. It's some kind of doll. It's a woman. The dress and it's all melted though. I don't know what that is. It says wind. It must have even moved. No plastic metal toy. I'll get back. That's why I'm finding marbles later. Another marble back in here. I'm really getting into them down here. And I this I haven't even dug over in this section. So they're down here too. But I got this. I thought it was a marble. 
and it's like bake like rubber and it has 13 on it it's some kind of little game piece i'm gonna take it you can see that back here that's a vitro agate one of the clear basements oh it's nice it's the nicest one so far it's even nicer in that red and green one look at that swirl pattern on that and it's clear based let me get it cleaned off that's beautiful later yeah see it's all clear base you can see clear in the marble on these windows see it there and the colors veneered on the outside this is definitely a vitro v-i-t-r-o agate a-g-a-t-e made in parkersburg west virginia and this is one from the late 50s to the mid 60s i would guess i'll have to look it up you can look up marbles on marblecollecting.com it's a good site there's lots of good information and lots of pictures and history of marbles it's awesome so go check that out that's a beauty well, they sure were popular toys. This one has a little melt to it, but I'm still going to take it to put with my other ones. It's a shame this one don't have a cat on it. That kind of stinks, but we're finding stuff. But... Well, right in there is where I found that Vitra and that toy car and stuff. I moved up here. I'm trying to get some stuff out. This is where I was finding all them marbles in my last video, right at the end, raking them out live. And here's another one right here. It's just a white cat eye, but I'm chalking them up again. That's nice enough to frame. I only frame up the ones with no play wear, no cracks, no chips, and that's nice. It's kind of one of them gray blue ones. It's probably a Marble King, because I was finding Marble King more patch and ribbon marbles in here yesterday. Later, folks, I'll get back on my next one. It's raining, so I'm gonna not have as long to dig today. It's raining again. It's all overcast and stuff. Later. I just found this laying out behind this log. I'm digging over in there. There's older stuff here. That's a shame that's not embossed. That's starting to turn lavender purple. That's an old cork top prescription. I'm going to take it. I'll put it in the window. It's turning light. It's going to turn real purple. It's got measurements on it there. But no embossing. It would have had a paper label, I believe. But that's old. Let me tell you, this is a good find. Look at this. I missed this. I'm coming in from this direction. I ran into all this grapevine and I was powering through that stuff to try to find that uh, layer with them marble kings in it. I'm not sure I've done too much digging where I was at. I think I was right in here. But that sure as heck looks like a big military button right there. See it? It's a big eagle button. That's going to be awesome condition coming out of that rust. Let me wipe it off. That's awesome. World War II, I would guess. Hold on. Yep, that's what it is. That's a daymaker. I have all them military spoons and forks, Air Force ones, Army, Army medic ones, stainless steel ones from like World War II, and metal ones, brass ones from like World War II up to Vietnam. And I got all kinds of, not a bunch of these. I've got, I've dug maybe six of these on my channel. But the condition is just on these dumps, when you get the stuff suspended up off the base clay in them layers of trash, it drains real good. Of course, it's got a heavy patina on it, but it's real solid and as nice as you could ask for coming out of the ground. Mo detecting, usually these are just roached. Look at that. It's just perfect. Wonder who had it. Wonder who served with that. That's what I always think. That's awesome, folks. Lit. All right, I'm working on this button. I might just leave it like this. A little bit of the like metal show, and I like that patina on it. I've cleaned other ones up to where they look brand new. But there you can see the back. I could get all that off, but I kind of like it. It's got writing all, all in it. I could clean it up and date it. It's just a two-piece button, and it's all there, and it's in immaculate condition. That's pretty nice, pretty nice fun. Later. I ever just get another day maker. Do you see it down there? Man, I love these things. This is awesome. That button, you saw how nice that was in. The stuff's suspended, and I'm on a hill like this, and it just drains right now. You see it now? Look at this. It's an old gun, and it's got a little damage to the handle, but man, oh, it's still, I can fix all of that. That's awesome. It's got an N on it. That's nice. That's a nice find. Later. Later. Well, let me get a good off track here. Let me put this in my pocket. And we'll get.
get that we'll get that bottle out right there it's probably just some kind of rc or something see there's it's so dry in here that even cloths good i'm finding breaking mason jars too right here's a base off of something that would have just that would have been beautiful look at that glass just awesome color not doing bad i've only been up here about an hour and a half you got all that stuff i can restore that uh gun back with putty and paint it and it'll look awesome it's a shame i gotta restore it but it's almost all there in the hammer it's unbelievable the hammer still fires back on that that one's in good condition most of them are roached It feels like it's broke. It is. It's an RC. I'll get back. I'll see if I can't find some more marbles and then I'm going to go later. I found one of these the other day. It's kind of a cool bottle. It's all embossed up on the bottom. It's absorbing. 12 fluid ounces. It's kind of a nice bottle. I'll take it to trade. But I'm finding just tons of bottles. There's a 7 up that's embossed. The Mountain Dew that's this style is awesome. It has the hillbilly embossed on it. I've found them on here before, but I'm hoping to find one of them. But just look at how nice these are coming out of the ground. That's just perfect. Aqua, you know, I'd say this is from like the late 50s, the early 60s. I think it's 64. But them are pretty bottles, or a real aqua, like a Coke bottle. I might take that, take a few of them, trade them. Yeah, it's a shame that one's broke. Look how perfect that is. You know, I guess it's messed up back here, but I could have scrubbed that off. And it would have still been a nice one. Look at how nice that ACO is on the front. You'll love it. Frosty old coke and root beer. Look. Yeah, look at that. Original cap on that. Look how beautiful and blue that is. Pick up them too. Found another one of them RCs too that's real nice. But look at all them bottles on the wall. Look at that. There's one of these blue like electrical things like I found a few videos ago. Oh, this is a bigger one. Look how awesome this is. Wow. I just found one of these. I'll show pictures after it with both of them cleaned up. That's awesome to get with my insulators. I've never found this size. I found many of the smaller ones. But that's electrical and it's cobalt blue ceramic glazed. Right there you can see the ceramic. That's nice. That's nice, folks. I love it. Huh. I don't know what that is. It's some kind of toy of some kind. Maybe it's off a dump truck and it's break. I don't know. But I'm going to find one more thing and I'm getting out of here. It's still raining on me. I'm just a look at me. Alright, here's... I think this is the one I found in this video. They have like an embossed P right there. Um, but I found several of these blue ones. This is the one I found just like four or five days ago. I got to get the rust out of it. I haven't cleaned them yet. I just set them up here. They're insulator related. So there they are. These look cool with the insulators, huh? Look at all this stuff. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll make some more good finds later. See, that's a monkey toy head. And I'd say that's Curious George with that little cap on. Looks like it. I'd have liked to have seen what that was. It's some kind of Curious George dog. I would have stirred doll, I'd have seen. Um, I'm going for one more thing. I thought I'd show you that. That's kind of cool. Somebody might have had it watching a video that's older. You know, it's probably from the 50s or I'd say 60s on that. But it looks real cartoony. Uh, see that right there? That's a Coke bottle. It says Sistersville on the bottom, I think. We'll get that out. That's one of the older ones from the 40s. You know, it's real old, but it's getting there. It's getting up in age. See, there's some big rocks in here. I'm finding toys. I should start seeing some marbles, but I haven't yet. But it's getting wet. But I got a few other finds. That insulator, I love it. I don't have that size. But 
but marbles could start popping out at any time. Well, right there, that's just insane. I knew they were in here because of that J Curious George. Look at this. Yeah, that was actually pretty nice. It's like Hulk green. So that'll be a nice one for the frame. Let me get this coke out. Hopefully the neck ain't broke off of it. Let me get this in my pocket. I'm just laying in the dirt today. I don't know. Game wash some clays. I haven't seen a marble for a while either. Turn that on, rake one out live. I was kind of getting discouraged, but how can I be with the military button and how can you get really discouraged? I thought that might be one of them little plastic tokens. But see these layers? I just try to power power through it, look at the stuff the best I can. When it's wet like this, and then maybe come back when it dries out and rake through my piles one more time real fast. That should be ready to come out. Oh, it's good. These sell. Like at antique dealer, I trade stuff to. Wants these because he sells them. Sistersville is pretty close to him. Um, it's 1939. That's nice. 1939. Didn't look like much case wear. Decent bottle. Or, well, let me see. Yeah, it's Parkersburg, West Virginia. I was wrong. I thought it was Sistersville. It's Parkersburg. That's a well. It's about as good. It's a small town too. Sistersville's smaller, but that's still a nice bottle. Wait, another marble here. It looks like a blue cat eye from up here. It is, but it's two colors of blue. It's pretty decent. It's frameable. It's cobalt blue. Look at that cobalt blue in the middle of it going up to lighter blue tips. That's actually nice. I'll get back. I'm, I might find one more. I know I already say that, but it stopped sprinkling, so try to suck it up. See, I just found this, and that's a mason jar. A new, the newest ones I find. All broke open, and I dumped it out, and there's a plastic baby in it, a celluloid baby. It's all melted. Look at that big jaw. But there could have been marbles in that, and they're all in here. That might be why I'm finding them. I'm going to get a little bit longer. There's a whiskey with the cap still on it. Didn't have nothing on it. That's newer. Later. Oh, there's another. There's just so many. That's a bigger one. There's so many cobalt blue bottles. These are just a few of the ones I've set up here. There's two smaller ones. I got like 10 down there. They're everywhere in here. See, there's even broken ones. They're just everywhere. There's piles of them in here. But I'm starting to get into them a little bit now. Hopefully some swirls and stuff start showing up. That Coke bottle is the right age. But there's another one right here. It just looks like one of them tiny blue ones. It is. It's a solid blue one. Nothing to brag about. Alright, a few videos ago, this is where I started digging and popped a marble out of immediately. But then I moved down the hill to see if they were down there too, which they were, and I made several videos coming this way. Um, and I cleared some of this off. This is a big piece of metal I'm gonna have to get out, but I got a marble immediately. And I think I saw a green cat eye, but I couldn't find it. And since it was just a green cat eye, I ain't gonna look no more. But that's a beautiful cat eye. Look at that, another one. I'm gonna do a few more rakes in here. See if I can't find a few more marbles, and then this is where I'll start digging. Look at this mound of trash. It's, there's marbles all over the place. I did pretty good today. I got a whole bag full of bottles. I think I like that blue insulator the best to go with my my glass insulators. It'll look great. I'll put up pictures of all that stuff. Get out of here. I said one more. I got enough finds. I'm just getting later in the day. I've been here a while, but here's another one. Another one of them solid blue ones. It's nice condition. There's going to be marbles all in here. I've only been here a few minutes. It's a good one to frame up. It's common, but 
it's still nice condition. It can, you couldn't ask for better condition, and I dug it, so I'll put it in a frame. I like the color. Bam, I had to do a few more rigs, and there's definitely toys up here. That would have been cool. It's a pig. Looks like it had a wheel there, like on a chariot. I thought I'd show you. But look here. This is what I'm looking for, folks. This is a beaut. It's one of them real orange cat eyes. I like these. I got a few in that frame that'll help fill it out. Starting to rain again, so I gotta go. I always try to add a few more right at the end for bonus footage, but that's wet mint. It's probably a vitro cat eye. Um, I found some alley agates in here like a year ago, up farther, so they gotta be here. So this is where I'll start digging in my next upload. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. Um, just, there's just so many blue bottles, I ain't gonna be able to carry them all out of here. I got a whole nother pile of them down there with that purple uh, prescription bottle. But look at all these just right here out of that hole. The coat, all these seven ups, the royal crowns. There's just bottles everywhere in here that are potentially worth taking to trade. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you all. Later. All right, I thought I'd show you real quick at the end here the marbles. I think there's 11 here. Mostly commons, but that vitre is really nice, and that marble king is nice, and I like that orange cat eye. The rest are just kind of commons. There's one multicolored cat eye there, but there's going to be a bunch of marbles come out up in there in this section. And still, I got a bunch of digging to do down in here. But I did good. I, I think I like the... World War II button the best because it's in such a nice shape. Then the insulator in the marbles, that blue insulator is awesome. Um, and all of them other blue bottles. I'm going to carry a whole bag of them out of here today. But anyway, this will be it. Later, fix. All right, here's what we're up to on the marbles after this video. I'm getting it pretty full. It's looking pretty good. So I'll get back on the next one. This will try to fill this frame this month. I'll keep going back. Later.